Hey, thanks for clicking on my video, appreciate it. Uh, if you're into ATV riding, camping, uh, finding cool spots like waterfalls, cooking up some good meals, and having a few beers in the woods, then you probably like my video. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up, really helps. Leave me a comment, let me know where you're from, and consider subscribing, it really helps me out. Thanks a lot. All right, taking off from beautiful Adair's Wilderness Lodge again. These guys are great. I noticed the for sale sign's not there anymore, so I don't know if it got taken off the market. Maybe there's an, uh, an accepted offer. I unfortunately cannot afford it, but man, it would be fun to own something like this. I am heading out from Adair's. I have my brother Sean behind me on his 2015 Kawasaki Terex. And my dad behind, uh, actually my dad's in the middle. And he has his 2019 Honda Pioneer 1000. We're heading down. We're going to go check out a few spots, ride some trails. I'm going to show them the waterfalls, Martinhead Beach. And then we're going to go for a camp, hopefully, at Goose Creek, if the trail down is not terrible. I have my riding buddy Wendell here. He's got his Rex backs on to protect him. He's been itching to get out. And I have my hot tent with me in the stove because it is fall now here in uh, Canada and the leaves are changing some are falling off the trees already it's uh, near the end of September and uh, it gets pretty cold at night so like always I'm gonna put the trail numbers in the bottom of the screen so that you guys want to follow along with players ride command or quad MB app or any other app you may use you can do that Mainly it's really good to get out because I have my dad, my brother down again. They had a lot of fun our last camping trip. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely uh, definitely check it out. We check out all the best scenery around. It was a long day of riding. We ended up saving a Volkswagen uh, Golf. It was stuck in the ATV trail. My brother and dad hooked onto it with the side by sides and pulled them up a hill. It was pretty funny. Really nice guy though. He ended up uh, being a fan of the channel, which is pretty cool So yeah, that was a really good video, but this one I wanted to uh, go easier lighter riding day Still check out some cool spots and spend some more time at camp We have a ton of food Of course, we got some beers to drink once we get to camp I don't know how well it's going to show up on the old GoPro, but uh, it's a really nice view from up here. You really start to see some of the trees changing color. Wendell's freaking out because he's not in the lead. He, he likes being in the front. Had to get up ahead here because Wendell was freaking out. If he's not in the front, he just loses his mind. I don't know what it is about him. If he thinks he's going to get left behind or something, I don't know. He absolutely hates it. It's beautifully green. So I think this is going to be uh, the Shepherdy Road uh, Fundy National Park and this cuts right across to they call it like the Fundy Coast Trail or something like that. I did it on the motorcycle last year. It was absolutely beautiful. There's actually moose tracks right here. You walked in the mud and crossed the road.
Oh man, the uh, water really flooded here. I'm guessing beavers must have it dammed off. You can see some more moose tracks in the mud back there. I don't mind a little bit of water. Cleans the bike off. Yeah, look at that. Just goes down the hill there, an old skitter trail. Tree's too heavy for me to move. Do you, uh, do you want to try winching it or? A couple cuts would be nice. Decided to, after cutting the tree, stop for a little snack. Sean made up some uh, sandwiches. Where's the meat from, Sean? Two boys. Two boys in uh, Coal Harbor. Got some rye bread. What kind of cheese? Smoked Gouda and Swiss. Looks good. You're damn right it's Gouda. <laughs> Oh, we stopped and had a little lunch. Didn't really realize it was 12 o'clock. But uh, Sean had some really nice sandwiches made up. Meat from Two Boys Meats in Coal Harbor, Nova Scotia. It's really good. They make all their own sandwich meat and smoke it and everything. They make great pepperoni, which we have some for later. But it's a nice, quick, easy uh, lunch. Instead of stopping and making a fire or breaking out a barbecue or something. Anyways, we're gonna hop out here on this dirt road. 3407, I just seen a dirt bike go ripping by and some more bikes. They look like they're going camping. They're probably going to Martin Head. It's usually where most people go. A couple of really nice guys, I gave them a sticker. They, uh, they didn't know about the channel, but uh, they said they're gonna check it out. But yeah, this is going to be a little dirt road driving, so I'm not going to bother filming this. So I'll see you guys when we get uh, further down the trail. Well, we're just getting down to the uh, bridge that crosses over. So this is kind of a cutoff spot. Your car can't get through here, nor truck. Uh, 72 inches wide, and this is an old sea can that they've turned into a uh, covered bridge. Beautiful water. And I can't remember if I called it Wallace Falls, but most people I think call it Quiddy. But I've heard it called both, and back there on the sign it had both names. When we got to the falls, we're going to hike down the little trail and go check her out shown it on my videos before but uh, it uh, always nice spot here probably be feeling good too oh, there's the first set of falls it was around the corner to the bigger set where the pool is so we're gonna head down there the window right on the edge hey get over there A great swimming hole too. Water's always cold though. What do you think of that? Amazing. Yeah. What a spot. I know. Yeah. I know, it would be. If I knew how deep it was, I'd jump off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember how deep it is. I know I've seen people swimming.
taking off from Quiddy Falls. Ran into a nice uh, group there. They're heading down to Merton Head Beach today. Spend the day there. Lots of people out today. All right. We're done with the fire roads, or the, the logging roads. And we are starting the trail down to Goose Creek. I'm really hoping that it won't be too, too bad. We had so much rain in the last little while that I'm just scared that uh, we might have some washouts. So I've got to uh, keep an eye out for that because it's not worth, you know, someone getting hurt like we don't want. Oh, I just had to uh, clear a couple trees and uh, at least this tells me that there's nobody else going to be down. I imagine there will be some more of that. Too. Probably. So yeah, we got a little bit of wood cleared out of the way there, and uh, some of it was dry, so it was standing dead. So we cut some of it up and threw it in the side-by-sides, take that down for firewood either in the tent or a campfire. We say, oh yeah, lots of birch bark. Well, we kind of forgot some uh, paper to start the fires with. So as we were coming down here, we seen a couple birch trees and you don't want to peel it down to the actual tree. Just take the stuff that's kind of falling off. Although those two look like they're probably dead anyway. But yeah, beautiful forest. Nice trail, eh, Sean? I love it. Wendell's looking for squirrels. You find anybody? Yes, sir. Back down the Billy Goat Path. I can't believe how much this trail has been washed away there's zero <laughs> there's zero soil it's all just rock and this is a nice roundabout right here because that's a rugged spot there you can see the old shale rock there and it drops off but this way is not bad at all we came and scouted here ahead just to uh, know the best way to, to go because I really don't think many people have been down here since all the, the storms and stuff because we had to cut quite a few trees already and I can actually see a lot of these trees are cut and now you can imagine falling down that hill I know the GoPro never does it justice but that is a straight down cliff Alright, we just wanted to uh, take a peek at this. I actually think it's a little bit easier on this four-wheeler, this spot. Because it's wide enough for me to kind of, uh, what would you say, meander?
Meander's a pretty good word, eh, Wendell? Oh yeah, you had no problems. But it's been good so far. There's only one spot that I remember a, a washout, but it was all filled with rocks. So I'm hoping that it's still filled with rocks as if not, we're gonna have to uh, probably throw some rocks in there to get through, if that's even if we can get through at all. Oh, she dropped right off there, didn't it? a little bit of uh, clearing the trail nice to have Sean's saw makes me want to start carrying mine or I know a lot of guys carry those battery operated saws now they're so small and compact and some of the guys use them at work uh, and they work really well everyone says they work great we have a uh, Milwaukee and a DeWalt, they both work really good. <laughs> Might have to bleep that out. Yeah, I messed up. I seen this log and I tried to avoid it. I went that way, but I can still come down here and get back on the trail. This is a little bit of an angle, as old uh, quadding Seuss would say. No, I think we're good. Might have to back up here. Yeah, not gonna make that turn. There. Yeah, look at the, this is where the trail used to go. And they kind of made a little less turn to get around that. And we're at that logging trail that I remember from last time I was down here. Really cool spot. All right, we got that log cut up and out of the way. And Hope to God that's the last one because we really want to get down there and get set up. The day's going by. The days are not as long as they used to be. Oh boy. I'm just going to have to go for it. Just kind of wedge myself in here maybe. Is that a bad choice? be stuck I try and 
lean all the way over here. There we go. Not too bad. I think the side by sides will have an easier time with that one. They're wide enough. Well, the side-by-sides had a much easier time with that obstacle. They were able to basically straddle it and had no issues getting over it. Whereas I was not quite wide enough, so it uh, slipped down in between. You can really see how much this has uh, deteriorated since the last time I've been here. Well, this is the washout I was worried about, and it seems to be fine. Oh, I got a squirrel right here. I don't know if Wendell, oh, Wendell does see you. <laughs> Get him, boy. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, geez, I heard him yelp. He ran into a stick there, jammed his gut. Hopefully he's not, not bleeding or anything. <laughs> I wish you guys knew how much that dog likes to chase squirrels and rats. Almost like he was bred for it. Look at that hill. Poof. Craziness. Here's a potential washout site here too. Ah, I think we got another big tree down. Hopefully we can get around it, but it looks like she's going right across the trail. Yes it is. Okay. I have to get Sean saw. Thank God my brother Sean brought his saw because I don't think we would have been able to cut through all these trees. Just as nice as the first time I came here. Holy smokes, look at the washouts. But uh, yeah, definitely some changes in here. Well, the tide's out. Well, it's coming in actually, so we're gonna pop over and uh, go check out the old boiler and all that stuff before it disappears. Well, the boiler won't disappear, but everything else sort of does. Hey, sorry guys, a little too much wind noise in this clip. Uh, 
Right now I'm standing right at the heart of Goose Creek, right where the sawmill used to be. You can see the old boiler in the background. Goose Creek back in the 1800s had about 60 families living here, even at a general store. Uh, loggers would come in the fall and uh, cut wood all fall, winter, and then in the spring flood they'd float the logs down to the sawmill. They'd have them sawed up in the logs, load them on ships, and then they'd sail them off to be sold at market. What's it say? Scotland? Yeah. Huh. And I don't know what the... I think this belongs to another brick. See, there's L. Yeah. Plus that looks long. Jeez, look at the pitting on that. Jeez. Is it ever? Stop by to show them the boiler. Looking at all the old bricks and railway stuff. And there's Sean setting up. We're going to go get a little picture here. Oh, Wendell left me for my brother. What a spot. I absolutely love this place. Yeah, you guys can see uh, the island off in the distance. That's Martinhead Island. And uh, that uh, area was originally named by the Mi'kmaq people. It was Anisek. Not sure if I'm saying that correct, but uh, it meant Lone Rock. But then... Uh, the land grant in 1783, it was granted to a man named James Martin, and on the land grant it is named as Martin's Head, and that's how it's been ever since. Alright, so, as you guys could probably tell from the video, it was a bit too windy to uh, be camping out on the beach tonight. <laughs> There's a windy one out there and the waves are crashing hard, but uh, we decided to come in here. This was the campsite that I gave up to the hikers last time because they were all wet and very tired. They're really nice people. It was a lot nicer that day too. So yeah, we're gonna set up, there's a fire pit already. We're just gonna set up the tent here because this is the flattest area. I'm gonna do uh, another Pomali tent. This is a really big uh, TP style tent that they gave me and uh, should have no problem fitting all of us in there. Everybody's, you know, everyone's starving, so we're gonna get a little stick of pep. This one's got a bend in it. Honey garlic, eh? Yeah. Two boys? Yeah. Good. Hope them beers are cold. Alright, so we're gonna have a little appetizer of some mussels. These are gonna be angry or drunken mussels, you can call them whatever you want. Just fire in a little bit of white wine, a little splash of beer, liquor before beer, you're in the clear, right John? Something like that. Yeah. And you got uh, butter, red pepper flakes, pepper, and a bunch of garlic cut up with a little bit of uh, avocado oil. Fire that in there, that'll melt over top. You can melt it first if you want. And if you're wondering about this stove, this is one my brother Ricky loaned us. What, what make is it again, Sean? Uh, GS? GSI Outdoors, I think it is. Oh, it's GSI. Oh, okay, cool. And it lays down about this thickness, and that's only about an inch and a quarter, I would say. It's really, really thin. It's a really nice, uh, it's a really nice stove. Yeah, wicked. Well, unfortunately for us, we cooked up our mussels, and they had a strong fishy smell. So instead of eating those, and all of us uh, not feeling great tonight and tomorrow, we decided just to biff them in the ocean and uh, Sean whipped us up a little bit of baguette with some pepperoni and mustard on there and we're gonna have a steak here in a little bit. Alright, so my brother Sean gave me this. He got it from his uh, electrical supplier in Burnside. It's a uh, McLaughlin beer. Uh, there you are. So, he wanted me to uh, test her out. I'll test it out. Send as many as you want. It's actually really good. Brewed in uh, Montague, Prince Edward Island. Mosquitoes are bad, but the beer is good. So yeah, thanks a lot uh, for giving that to my brother for me to try. Appreciate it. Well, yeah. Yeah, got uh, the tent fully set up. 
Wendell's in the bed right now, laying on Dad's bed. Just got uh, the fire going. It's getting pretty dark, but looks light out there, but it's not that light. A few of the lanterns going, and we're going to get a uh, steak cooking up here. Got a big-ass steak. Hopefully that didn't turn bad like my muscles, but... All right, we finally got the fire down to some coals. Gonna fire on a big ass rib roast steak. Woo! Oh man, okay. Well, my dad's got the uh, little stove going. It's freaking warm in here. Wendell's loving life. Hey, bud. And you got the uh, the light there on the other side. Looks good. Man, lots of good wood. Super pumped that we brought Sean's chainsaw. Wendell's been in bed since so probably no joke 6:30. I just don't open them too much of breaks. This steak looks amazing. The best steak I've ever had. <laughs> Burned in. Yeah. Wendell's up. Yeah, he's up for it. Well, she's been slow cooking for a while. We just threw on some stuff to get a good sear. And uh, I made some garlic compound butter to throw on while it rests. And this steak's gonna be amazing. Easy. Is it? Tastes like pork tenderloin. It's that it's that tender. God dog. That's good. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, me and my brother don't know what happened, but this is literally the most tender steak we've ever had. Never that tender. Look at this. <laughs> it's almost like slow cooked. I don't know. But also seared. Mm -hmm. Man. Good work. night. Oh yeah. Yeah. Great night. Wendell. <laughs> you being good. Dad's still cozed up in his sleeping bag with his moving blankets. <laughs> Battled with that sleeping bag all night. Yeah, that was my fault. I never had it geared up to begin with. Yeah, no worries. It still slept good. Oh, and you can't sleep. You get a rough life. Yeah. Got the little fire going there now. Warm up a bit. You don't put it behind me.
got sleep good, Sean? Oh, yeah, passed out. passed right out. I was wide awake and I had that steak last night, which I know I do say all the time, it really was the best steak ever, eh, Sean? <laughs> It was the steak I ever had. Yeah, it was like butter, man. It was so so tender. As soon as I ate that, I was falling asleep in my chair. So Sean and I finished our rums and then went to bed. Slept good all night. Lit the fire a couple times just to stay warm. But uh, yeah, got up. It was a beautiful morning. Flew the drone around. Sean's got the bacon and stuff cooking. We're going to do a big breakfast skillet. That's what we're waking up to this morning. And it's crazy to think that 100 years ago or more that they were... Had a big, I'm going to post a picture of what it used to look like here. Almost the same angle, but not quite. But uh, had a big sawmill right there where the boiler was. Docks going across. Ships could pull in and dock right here. They had a big dock. All kinds of cool stuff set up here. And it's all gone now except for the boiler. So there's people coming here hundreds, hundred years ago. So they're not here to camp, just here to log. But it was still really, really cool piece of history. Oh, my brother Sean's got uh, some of my dad's homemade smoked bacon. Cooking this up, a little homemade spatula, aka a piece of, uh, of uh, kindling. Potatoes on the go, some seasoning, coffee's percolating. Everything else is ready to go. Coffee's ready. God, that's hot. Holy smokes, that's hot. <laughs> Burn my mouth. Leftover steak from yesterday, me and Sean didn't eat. Some of the sausages. There you go. I like to use a bigger pan. Mm, it's the only one I have. Alright. That's breakfast. Beautiful spot. Man, that's so good. That's the hottest coffee in the world, just so you know. <laughs> Burn it. Oh, it tastes fine. Better than instant coffee. Oh, yeah. I even bought, like, expensive instant coffee uh, Starbucks. I still didn't like it. Starbucks are rip off. No. I don't know if I've ever had it. It's just strong coffee. You like her, Dad? What's that? Your food? Oh, yeah. Woo! Doesn't matter what you do, it'll fall you. Oh, uh, the smoke? Yeah. Oh. Let's go uphill and get them up there. <laughs> Oops. Well, we got the tent tore down with the stove and everything all put away. Just having a, another, boiling up another thing of coffee. Getting this place cleaned up and leaving it better than we found it. Going to leave a bunch of extra firewood that we had and cut down on the trail down. Uh, leave that for the next hikers that come through. Starting to get fall, fall of the year, so I'm not sure if we're going to see too much more uh, hikers in through here. But you never know. Might be those go-getter type people. Alright, got the site all cleaned up, bikes are all packed up, left a really good amount of wood for the hikers that come, left no trace, we picked up a little bit of the sticks and stuff that were strewn about, 
and yeah we're gonna hit the trail met a couple nice guys hiking from Fredericton offered them a beer but uh, they said they didn't want it my guess is they just didn't want to carry the weight but we offered anyway you can kind of see the face in the rock there Got uh, see if I can even point it out that looks like his nose got the chin coming down and then the forehead looks kind of like a Roman soldier mask Really neat. All right, guys, we are hitting the trail. The Billy Goat Path. She's very, very steep. It's steep going down, so going up is always worse. And with all the washout. It's a little bit bouncy. But four wheel drive, low range, so you're not uh, spinning or anything, and good set of tires. Keep your momentum. Should have no issues. We get to see all of our hard work we did yesterday with cutting all these trees. Crazy steep though. I remember this spot from last time. This was hard for me to get up. Yeah, in some sections there, or some uh, obstacles, it's nicer to have a longer wheelbase side by side, or even a two up ATV might have been better than mine. And then, you know, there's pros and cons for everything, but some of the areas that are tight and technical, I can get around a little easier than a side by side, but you can't always have the best of both worlds, just gotta make do with what you got. Luckily my brother Sean was there to, to help me out. <laughs>
when we got up that little section that was harder than I thought especially for uh, dad side by side just the uh, roll cage is very square on those Hondas where my brother's cowie at the top comes in like tapers inwards a bit so he's able to avoid a lot of the trees easier I said I wasn't going to do too much filming on the way back, but this trail is just simply too fun not to film. <laughs> I love this stuff. Although if I didn't have my brother back there, I would have had to use my winch. Viking, met him on the trail. Cabbed in, looks nice. Well, we just stopped uh, for a little water break because I was sweating. Sean took all of his shirt or his uh, coat and everything off. He was sweating. Nice little break. We ended up uh, uh, Yamaha Viking passed us, the family in it. First of the trail is behind us. I'm almost out of the woods here now and we're going to hit the, some of these uh, gravel roads and get back to the trucks pretty quick. I'll probably uh, sign off for now unless something else cool happens and I'll uh, get back to you when I get back to the truck. guys thanks a lot for watching the video it's you quite the drive yeah it's a good time good trip yeah coming yeah, back it. all right perfect thanks a lot for watching the video uh if you guys uh like the video hit the thumbs up leave a comment subscribe of course and i'll see you guys on the next one see you later